Praise the Lord. I welcome you to today's broadcast. We are continuing uh, with our study of uh, the book of Luke chapter number 15. And just a way of um, a recap, uh, looking at what we have done in the past uh, uh, two broadcasts. We started with uh, uh, looking uh, at verse number 1 to verse number 10. Uh, which we in which we have two um, uh, we have two parables the parable of the lost sheep and the parable of the lost coin um, and our and our theme uh, other than uh, the, our theme or our what what we were talking about was the fact uh, that God our God is a God who finds the lost and then uh, in the last broadcast which was yesterday we were looking from verse number eleven to verse number seven uh, sixteen. Uh, we were looking at the third parable, uh, the third parable of lostness, which is the prodigal son. Uh, and in that, we only looked at one thing. We looked at um, the mistakes that were made by the prodigal son. We looked at the five mistakes. Um, that he asked for his share, that he left home and he went to a distant country. That when he went to a distant country, he squandered his world in world living. That when he began to be in need, he was hired by a citizen, a foreigner in that country. And number five, he was hired to feed pigs. Today, we will look, uh, we will go one step further and look at the three conditions of sin as we see them portrayed uh, in the life of the prodigal son. I will read from verse number 17 to verse number 24. When he came to his senses, he said, how many of my father's hired servants have food to have food to spare and here i am starving to death i will set set out and go back to my father and say to him father i have sinned against heaven and against you i am no longer worthy to be called your son make me like one of your hired servants so he got up and went to his father but while he was still a long way off his father saw him and was filled with compassion for him. He ran to his son, threw his arms around him and kissed him. The son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I no longer am no longer worthy to be called your son. But the father said to his servants, Quick, bring the best robe and put it on him. Put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. Bring the fattened calf and kill it. Let's have a feast and celebrate, for this son of mine was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. So they began to celebrate. As I say, today I'm just going to be looking at the three conditions of sin that we see in the life uh, of the prodigal son. And also at the remedy of sin as we see it in his life. The uh, conditions of sin and the remedy as we see it in the remedy of sin, conditions and remedy of sin, as we see them in the life uh, of the prodigal son. The three conditions, number one, verse number 17 is very clear. When he came to his senses. What do you call the condition of being out of your senses? It's a condition of madness. Someone who is out of his senses, we say he is mad, he is crazy. Madness is a condition of sin. And if you look in every in every place, if you look everywhere, you will see people uh, behaving, acting, and doing things as if they are not in the right conditions of mind. And I can give you very specific examples. Uh, again and again we see and we are told, uh, for example, some of the deadly diseases AIDS kill and we know that the number one uh, way of contracting AIDS is through sexual intercourse but what do you see people do you see people still practicing prostitution do they know that there is AIDS yes they know there is AIDS do they know that uh, they can they can get the disease and you cannot get cured probably or you have to live with it yes they do I want to give you another example Take any packet of cigarette in any country, you will see a very clear warning. Uh, let, me give, let me give you a clear one, a, a warning, for example, the one that we have from the Ministry of Health. Kenyan Ministry of Health says, Ministry of Health warning, cigarette smoking is harmful 
to your health. It's harmful to your health. Do you see doctors smoking? Yes, you do. Do you see pilots and educated people smoking? Do you see teachers smoking? Yes, you do. It's a condition of sin. You act as if you are out of your mind. It's a condition of madness. Uh, uh, I can give you another example. See, uh, you see people taking drugs. You see people uh, getting drunk. You see people uh, doing things that they are not supposed to be uh, to be doing. It's a condition of sin. Uh, it's a condition of sin. A uh, condition of madness. The Bible says, he came to his senses. That means he was out of his senses. He came to his senses. Condition number two. Uh, the Bible says, the, the father, when he came back in verse number 24, and the father says, for this son of mine was dead. He was dead, but now he's alive. Death is another condition of sin. He was dead. And this we see introduced in the book of uh, Genesis. As the Bible says, uh, when God spoke to Adam, he said, if you eat of this uh, tree or the fruit of this tree, you will surely die. They did not die physically. But death uh, as it, it occurred, and as it happened from the book of Genesis, is separation from God. We see death here uh, in the same, same sense. The death in the, in, the, in the fact that the son and the father were separated. And I say that the father in this case was God or is God representing God. The father and the son are separated. Death is a condition in which uh, we are separated from the father. The son was separated from the father is a condition of sin and then finally condition number three is a condition of lostness the father says in verse number 24 he was lost but now is found lost and i have explained that in the past two episodes in the past two broadcasts being lost means we are away from home we have left the kingdom of God. We see here, uh, also going back to the book of Genesis, God intended that man will be in the garden of Eden and he created everything that he needed. He provided for him everything there. But he kicked him out when he sinned. When he sinned, a condition of sin, he was kicked out of the garden. And we say that's how we ended up having all these things that we're having sicknesses, illnesses and diseases. And all those things were not there from the beginning. There was not even death. Nothing like that was in the beginning. But when we were kicked out of the garden in, in, um, in, in Genesis, then all these things were introduced. Being away from home is a condition of sin. It's, a, it's what we call lostness. We are not home. We are not in the kingdom of God. The three conditions of sin. It's condition of madness, condition of death, and condition of uh, uh, lostness. Now, what is the remedy of sin? We look at, we see it here uh, in the life of the prodigal son, the, the remedy of sin. What did he do when he, uh, uh, he realized that he has messed up? What did he do when he came to his senses and realized that he, he is dead, he is away from home, he is lost, uh, and he is mad out of his senses? What did he do? Two remedies of sin. Number one, he rose up. He rose up. Uh, three, I'm going to give you three conditions. It says he rose up and went back to the Father. When he came to his senses, verse number 17, he rose up and went to his Father. He went back home. That's what God wants us to do. We go back home. We come back to him. And then that was not the end. When he came back home, the other thing that he needed to do, the, the other remedy of sin, is he went and said, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. That's what we call repentance. Repentance. He needed to do two things. Uh, two things, three things. Rise up and go back to the Father. Rise up and go back to the Father. And when he goes back to the Father, he needed to repent or he repented. I want to speak to you today. You may be living in the same conditions uh, of sin as a prodigal son. You may be lost. You may be dead in your sins. You may be acting as if you're crazy, as if you're mad because of your sin. Those are conditions of sin. And I want to tell you, God is willing. God is willing. He is willing to heal you. He is willing to bring you back. 
Look at what happened while he was still a far off, a, dist, a, father, a far distance off. His father saw him and he ran to him and embraced him. Remember, we have been saying that God is a God who finds the lost and he is willing to receive back. There is celebration when one that was lost comes back, when one who was dead comes back. That's what God wants you to do. Get up, get on your feet, go back to the Father. You need to get back on your feet, go back to the Father and repent. And he is willing. That's why he says um, one of the most common uh, words that used in the Bible is come. Come, let us reason together. Come, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Come, come, come. The Spirit and the Lamb says come. Three, two things. Uh, rise up, get up, and come back to the Father. And when you come to the Father, repent your sins. And when you repent your sins, he will receive you and he will uh, save you and he will heal you. He will deliver you and he will give you life. Thank you for joining me. May God bless you until we meet again tomorrow.